Good evening from me. I'm still working, y'all. Y'all see, I'm trying to get them out. <clears throat> I am a little tired now. It's uh, about 11.58 Central Time. So it's 12 o'clock at night. I've been doing this since 1 o'clock this afternoon. Sick and all. Uh, just a pre-shuffle. See a little heartbreak. Hopefully not, Virgos. Uh, I wanted to say this. This is why I hit record so quickly. I usually do a quick shuffle, but I couldn't even hold it. Now, for all these other signs, I don't know if I did it for Aries or Taurus. I may have on my lit incense, but I, I didn't get the urge to light it during any of the ones I've done today. And I'm like all the way through the day, and I got the urge to light an incense for you guys. So, I, I supposed to do it every reading, but it just slipped my mind. But on your reading, I was getting ready to touch the card, and I was like, ooh, let me light an incense. So, I don't know if you need to relax. But I don't, I don't know if this is just your overall energy that you are relaxed. Um, I just saw the heartbreak card when I was just, you know, going to start the pre-shuffle. You guys saw that. So we'll see what that means when this comes out. So either you need to calm down and relax, have some me time or something, or you, this is your energy. You are relaxed. You are in your zen. So we'll see. But... Hey, I got the urge to do it, so we're doing it. Okay. All right. I feel like I gotta, you know, get it relaxed in here. I just feel a relaxed vibe. Got a pentacle showing itself. Let's put the energy here. It's a sage with, uh, Quartz crystal in it. I get it off Amazon and smudge spray because I have asthma and little children and a three bedroom townhouse that's not that big. Um, so I have to use something that's not as strong and overpowering. All right, Virgo. What, uh, Spirit, what energy do we have for Virgo for the end of the month, early February reading? Holy Spirit, what messages do we have for Virgo for the end of the month? Early February reading. Mm -mm. I'm not taking all that. Mm -mm. Man, cray cray. What y'all see? Cars never lie, guys. Let's come back out. Okay. This is all in its. See if I feel like that goes here. It's always in its place. I feel like this is making me start here. So, <coughs> like I said, the three of swords. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Got my chicken broth right here. Like I said, I'm trying to plow through these with the cold. So, that's hot chicken broth. And I got the bottle of Tropicana. I'm not playing about it. I don't have time. I don't have time to be sick, people. I don't. And when I get done with this, I'm going to drink my uh, glass of nighttime Theraflu. And uh, take my little self to bed and power up for tomorrow. Okay. Now I digress as usual. So, we have uh, the Knight of Pentacles. This is a, a Virgo, a Capricorn, or a Taurus, male or female. This is general energy. The Knight of Pentacles. Slowest moving knight in the deck. But it's stable. It's a Virgo for you. Cool, calm, collect. The ones that I know. Hard workers as well. And with that being said, I see the hard work card over here. With the Page of Swords and the Five of Wands. So, we already know what the Page of Swords and Five of Wands. This is not a joke. This is somebody coming in with the, pardon my French, fuckery and foolery. That's what this is. Nobody's seeing each other's views. Everybody's just fighting and arguing, saying harsh words. Page of Swords could be petty energy, just saying anything. He is ready with the sword at the, the ready. Like the king, it sits upright. Him, he has it ready. And he's ready to stab. Somebody's coming at it. Um, this could 
be someone coming against you in the workplace, maybe. Um, because like I said, I picked up a work energy here. But that might be another scenario. Someone might be going through that. So watch out at work. You look like you're dil diligently working hard, but somebody's back here. You got something in the works coming towards you. Um, kind of like a backstabbing energy when I look at it. See how this person doesn't even know what's coming. They basically have their head down working. And this foolery fuckery here, he bringing it with him. Right on behind him to come with the madness. And like I said, I feel like your energy is calm. You you cool. You just working. That's why this energy popped up first. Slow is moving night. Working, building on your little empire by your little self. But somebody's coming with the foolery. And then we have the strength card. The... Eight of Swords. I never know. I don't know how I always have to count these. I told y'all that before, but I always have to count them. Uh, the Eight of Swords, the Strength card, and the Moon. So you guys get a quick peek. And let me just pick up this energy here. Uh, the Moon card could be a Cancer. Water sign there. I, I pick up a lot of air here and Earth energy, of course. Strength card could be a Leo, but I'm not picking that up big. I see that you might not know that this is coming, but you'll have the strength to get through it. That's what I hear. Because it's like here is like unknown and whatnot confusion and this person is like oh they can't see here touch nothing they just can feel what's going on around them to maybe decipher the environment but you have the strength to get through this so someone could be confused but you have the strength to get through this confusion or leo could be confusing you because with that i this came out with this i believe i don't want to lie i don't remember but this is the three of swords that I saw in the beginning when I was just playing around with the cards. <coughs> and I always say, if it's meant to be, it'll come back out. I don't push anything that I don't feel. <coughs> I think spirit just likes to mess with me because it likes to confirm it. When I do speak on it, it always confirms itself nine times out of ten. Um, so, something may be unknown with a heartache. You might not see it coming, but you have the strength to get through it. I don't know why I keep saying you might not see it coming. But you are slow and steady. Slow and steady wins the race. I told you I felt the calm energy with you. You are not freaking out in this reading at all. You have the strength to get through it. Uh, what, what is this page? A page of source could also be mean messages coming to you maybe while you're at work. Why are you, trying to, why are you at work or at work? The magician, yeah, you have, you can manifest the power to get through this, like the strength card. You can manifest the power to get through this. It seems like, like, well, okay. Let's see, why is this three of swords here? Holy Spirit, can you clarify this three of swords for her, please? Holy Spirit, can you clarify this three of swords for her, please? burdens so let me see here so you might be calm and then like this snaps you out of your calmness it could feel burdensome but you have the strength because it wouldn't you wouldn't need the strength if it wasn't a burden so I can understand that this heartbreak could be a burden on you but you got the strength to get through this And what is this page of swords? What is he even doing? Why is he here? Page of swords with the high priestess. So actually, a page of swords could be bringing this to a high priestess that is working, doing her thing. And somebody could be bringing this negativity to her or trying to involve her in some type of fuckery. I feel like this is fuckery. And this is somebody bringing it and kind of like trying to knock this person off. They pedestal, not their pedestal, but distract them. Distract them with some madness that might 
hurt, but you have the strength to get through it. And you can manifest what you want right now. So don't let this throw you off. Keep calm. You're going to call this keep calm. I feel like you're calm, but you're going to have to keep calm because it's going to be stuff to test you. There it is. This is a test. Keep calm. It'll probably be the title. Holy Spirit, what other messages do you have for Virgo? <coughs> to the cups. If you keep your head down, keep calm. Don't let this stress you. It will bring you happiness. And where is this happiness coming from or what does it have to do with it? Because I feel like this could be in the workplace or this news to come to you while you're working diligently on something. But this person might can feel this in the back somewhere. They like they know it's coming, but I'm gonna keep my head down and work. Like you don't know it's coming, but something is deep down. Okay, this is what I'm hearing. In the 3D, you don't know it's coming, but in the other realms, your intuition is picking up that something is amiss. There we go. So you don't see it coming. But you can feel it coming. There we go. That makes sense. See? Wow. Um, it involves a Gemini, or it could have to do with a Gemini, but this is crazy. If you keep calm, I'm hearing this clear as day. This is not a hard message with Virgo today. If you keep calm, the whole thing is you feel this intuitively. But in the 3D, you act like you don't know. You might not know, but you're picking up on something, but you're keeping your head down and focusing on your business and your work. You're like, if something does happen, I'll be prepared. You know, in your subconscious. <coughs> you could be manifesting, making something happen. The Nine of Pentacles. It's slow work, but it's steady, and it's going to pay off. That's what I feel like that. Slow work, but this is going to pay off. You're manifesting this. Very well. And you have this something page of swords is swift. You have something come out swiftly, but it's not a tower. That's what I'm saying. You can get through this. A tower is not bad either, but it's not a total breakdown moment. This is just a petty type of distracting, irritating energy. That's how I just felt. I don't have time for this. I don't even care. You could see some messages online, maybe. Could have intuitively known it comes. You can see people fighting online. I don't know. Which intuition told you it was coming. But when you hear about this heartbreak or this disappointment, then it must be heartbreak because lovers and stuff is around here. But we'll keep it as a disappointment or heartbreak. It's going to be a burden. See, like I said, this is like confusion, unknown. It's like you didn't know, but in the subconscious, you did. But it was like something preparing you for this. So when you do hear it, you can um, get through it. It's like it's preparing. You're prepared. I hear you're prepared. And then... Oh, yeah. Sorry, I dazed out for a minute. It, so it could be a little stunning. Like when you notice it, it's like... What? That's what I feel. Like, are you serious? I don't have this. And then, like I said, something's coming to a completion. It's madness. It's coming to a completion. The cycle is closing up with this. Like I said, it feels like you're unbothered. Because you're focused on this. After this closes up, this is coming through. So, this is like a reward, I feel like. If you can stick with this, keep your calm, keep your cool. This can be a reward for you. This is a test. As, like I said, I kept hearing this. This is a test. I don't know why I'm getting the word rewards and tests from, but that's the choice of vocabulary that we're using tonight, apparently. Wow. Uh, Holy Spirit, what other messages do you have for Virgo? This is funny to me because it's like clear cut. It's just saying the same messages. You're prepared. This is a test. Don't fail it because you're already prepared. It's going to shock you. It's going to come in swiftly, but you're prepared. Keep your head down. Keep working. Keep stable. Keep grinding. Don't let it throw you off. It's a test. It's a test to see if you really want this. That's what, 
the stuff is just coming out right now. Holy Spirit, what other messages may you have for Virgo? Holy Spirit, what other messages may you have for Virgo? Wow. And I was so tired to do this read. And I'm like, I had at least pushed through six of the Zodiac, so I'm halfway there. And I see why I was pushed. I really feel this reading more than anyone so far. I remember Aries and Taurus. That was a couple days ago. So, you have any more messages? They're telling me it's clear cut. First time I've ever done that too. So let's get some guidance. No. <laughs> get some guidance, right though. And I am really relaxed. Like your energy, like it's almost like a transitive energy. You might be so content and working on what you got going on that it's like keeping you calm and refreshing your, ref almost like refreshing your soul. Like I feel like a, a cool, calm energy over me. I'm actually getting goosebumps, crazy. Holy Spirit. What message do you have for her? That just came out. Saying keep going. Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgo for the end of the month? Early February reading. Y'all. Somebody is messing with me here. Y'all know I ain't been doing these like I'm I've been following tarot for years, six years, seven years. And I went through a course to even learn the definitions of the cards, but I mostly read intuitively but like I've been saying the whole reading has been saying that this is clear cut and dry and then when I was looking for more clarifiers it said stop it's clear cut baby what that say crystal clear intentions it's crystal clear be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. Whatever this is that you are working on, Virgo, and I feel the energy all around me right now. So this is an important message for Virgo. This should be a PSA, public service announcement, Virgo. You are working on something. Feels like epic. Don't let this throw you off. I feel like an emotional energy. This could fight kind of hit you hard. Like I said, it's going to feel like a burden, but I really feel the energy. Guys, if I could show y'all, I have goosebumps right now. Seriously, this is intense. But you say, I'm calm, I'm not worried. It's just like, mm, the fire. So you are working on something that you are passionate about. And this could come in and say, hey, let's try to throw her off. You know, darker entities, we know that negative energy. Wow. Be clear about what you desire, desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. That's what I was telling you. Stick to your grind. You weren't worried about it. This is going to come and try to stab you in the back while you are focused and working intently. That was you. Crystal clear intentions. When you hear this or feel this or whatever this is to come about in a fast like manner, don't let it throw you off. Don't even let it feel like it's affecting you. Feel the energy. I'm not saying bury it deep within. Spend your time that you need to. An hour, a day, an evening. Don't let this throw you off. I'm hearing like it usually throws you off. It's a new time. You are called to do something. Don't let this get you. And this is going to close up, and you'll get your reward. I'm telling you, oh, crazy. You know what to do. It reminds me of, like, the uh, hermit card, Virgo. Nothing is ever a mistake. This is like the hermit card when he's carrying the lantern. Y'all know. The hermit card is the Virgo. It's the card for Virgo. Like, this is crazy, y'all. This reading is so... This could be for one person, but whoever this needs to touch, please, 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 can y'all leave a comment. I usually don't ask for stuff like that. I know I'm new to YouTube. Like, what do I usually ask for? But this is touching me. I just have goosebumps. I'm hot. I'm cold. I ain't coughed one time. This message was clear cut. Did y'all hear me coughing? I've coughed through all the other videos. I didn't call through this. Wow, let me find that hermit card. I see. <coughs> now I'm going to call. <coughs> the man is funny, ain't it? Okay. Like I told you. What the hell is that, Virgo? This is a hermit card. The card of Virgo. 
I'm doing a reading for Virgo. This Virgo looks like Virgo. That's why I pulled it out. This reading is so synchronistic. It's ridiculous. So if you feel synchronicities, this is like a matrix feel like, okay, I've been down this road. I know what not to do. Like um, Happy Death Day, if you've seen that movie. Well, she didn't know she was dead. She went through it a couple times and like, I'm dead. Okay, I need to play this a different way. We're going to figure this out. You know what to do, Virgo. This is your energy. Archangel Uriel, trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. Your inner knowledge, this is your inner knowledge, and you also have the intuition, and you all along about this situation, whatever it was. Keep calm. If you, I'm trying to tell you, if you don't keep calm, you might mess this up. Just keep calm. You already know what to do. Crystal clear intentions. What do you want? It's cut and dry. Something's coming through. You can handle it. Keep your nose down. You'll get your reward. That's all I got to say. I want to just pull a romance card just in case this is in romance. Virgo. I don't know why I keep hearing yes. 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 Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for Virgo? The Romance Angels deck. What messages do you have for Virgo? The Romance Angels deck. Like, I got emotional. Like, let me find out I got some Virgo on my child or something. I don't know. Like that. I was really emotionally connected with this reading. It's scary. Do you feel like I was just going to ask you, do you want me to pull apart? Like I said, this feeling like it's burdening you. Don't let this weigh you down. I'm hearing, don't let this weigh you down. And that's funny because when I did like that, it was funny because you got the unicorn here like a horse. <coughs> Don't let this weigh you down. <clears throat> it's time to take back control of your life. Keep control. Don't go on this emotional roller coaster that this is going to try to take you on. Keep control. It's time to take back control of your life. You're working on this. And it, it's a change coming in your life because you're working on this. And it's going to be darker entity, entities to try to throw you off the path. Don't let it happen. I don't see it as big and major. Well, the heartbreak card. Yeah. And the disagreements that they're bringing, but it feels like heartache, but it doesn't feel like, like I don't. I don't have a tower here. I don't have the death card here, so it might not like be an ending. It's heartbreak, and this is burdensome. But it's like you've been through this before, because it's not like end all, be all. The tower, everything's crashing down, stuff's burning. No. Watch your reactions. Love yourself first. Your self respect makes you more romantically. Attractive. Don't be out there acting a fool, Virgo. Please. Don't do it this time. Y'all know y'all can cut up now. Don't let me get to talking. I'm going to make some videos on the Zodiacs. This is the longest one I think I got. But this was very touching, Virgo. Don't cut up. Keep calm. I said that in the beginning of the reading. This all went together. This was a very synchronistic reading. Please comment. If you already went through this, if you went through this today, if, you, if it comes upon in the next week or two, please drop a comment. I so... So, what is the word? So, greatly want to know what, I don't even know what the heck. I don't know. It's over. Bye, right, Virgo. All right, y'all come back. And I drop some more videos because I was, I, I like this. I don't feel a bad energy with this. It's like a little disappointment, but, like, you got it. You already know what to do. Crystal clear intentions. Let that start light your way. Virgo, that's your energy. You are the hermit. You know to go within. You know how to go within and be alone and be in solitude and grind and do your work. That's what you do. You don't do what others are doing most of the time. Virgos be off somewhere doing businesses, doing stuff. Wow. Okay. Oh, working hard. You know, those earth signs don't play about the working. Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. All right, guys. So that is your uh, energy read for the end of the month. I see why it was pressing me to get that out. That was intense, y'all. I'm going to have to drink some old chicken broth and down this orange juice to get through that one. All right, guys. Love yous.